What happens when you gather a chief medical officer, a football player turned fitness influencer, and a mental health advocate to ask them questions about the most pressing topics of today? Let's find out together on The Futurist, the rise of chronic disease in young adults episode. Greetings, I'm Flash, your Futurist host. Allow me to introduce our contestants. Chief Medical Officer for Medtronic Endoscopy, author and medical mythbuster, Dr. Austin Chang, known as that ab guy to his social media followers, former professional athlete and prominent fitness personality, Darian Johnson, a sobriety and mental health advocate, podcaster and father, John Gustin. Our contestants will be playing a simple tower stacking game. Each contestant will select a block. Some blocks will trigger a chronic disease-related question, and others will start a minigame. If you win the minigame, you'll receive a power-up advantage. The first contestant to knock the tower over loses. Initiating game sequence. Well, I think I'm well-suited for this game because there have been some relationships and correlations drawn between playing video games and being good at procedures, so I would think that the flip side is also true. My son loves to play games like this, and he loves to cheat. So I think this is going to be a walk in the park. Dr. Chang, you've selected a question block. According to the National Institute of Health, the number of U.S. adults over 50 with a chronic disease is expected to double by the year 2050, and the increase in colon cancer has been a particular topic of interest. What is contributing to the rise of chronic disease, specifically colorectal cancer, in young people? Unfortunately, we're seeing these trends now, but a lot of this probably is an effect of something that happened years ago, but it's probably something in our environment and what we're eating and also rising rates of chronic diseases like obesity and um, other risk factors that could be contributing to higher rates of colorectal cancer. Expanding on technology and healthcare, there's a lot of different devices that doctors use to help do their jobs better, like pacemakers. So there's just so many ways technology these days impact how doctors do their jobs and how we take care of patients. Darian, you've selected a question block, biohacking a do-it-yourself approach that uses everything from lifestyle changes like diet and exercise to technology to improve health is trending. How can young people use biohacking to take control of their health? Be mindful and find ways to use it to your advantage. So whether you're struggling with meals and dieting, be mindful and intentional with the ways that you're using it and use it to your advantage. Dr. Chang, my data also shows that you have expertise on biohacking. What factors are within a person's control that help them reduce their risk of cancer and chronic disease? Well, aside from taking care of yourself by staying physically active and eating well and maintaining your social relationships, it's also really important to stay up to date with all of your cancer screenings. I like interacting with Flash. I think that's the way of the future is that we're going to be working hand in hand with AI like Flash and we have to learn to coexist. All right, playtime's over, boys. <laughs> Taking off my jacket was an intimidation technique, let them know the gloves are off, and that it was time for me to start taking the game serious so I could win. John, you've activated a mini game. Please proceed to the mini game arena. I'm ready to do this thing. Hey, Flash, how are you doing? My algorithm is operating properly. In a moment, you will see a grid of three interlocking words two vertical and one horizontal. I will provide clues for each of the vertical words first, then the horizontal one. You will have 15 seconds per clue and can make unlimited guesses within that time. To win the power up advantage, you must successfully guess each of the three words. Are you ready? I'm ready, Flash. Let's do this. What population is most worried about health, preventing them from experiencing life? Well, it's not what I am, which is a millennial. Flash, let's say Gen Z. That's right. Gen Z. Having high quality blank can help you live longer and enjoy a variety of health benefits. Flash, let's say mindset. Incorrect. I thought I had that one. Um, how about friends? Correct. I think mindset is still a good answer, but I understand why friends was the right answer. Certain conditions, including chronic disease, may increase a person's risk of social isolation and what other feeling? Flash, I'm gonna say loneliness. Got it. Correct. 
Congratulations, you have successfully completed the minigame. You have earned a power-up advantage. With this advantage, you will be able to skip your turn once at any point in the game. Awesome, thank you, Flash. Please return to the game. Being able to skip my turn right now, I think is essential, so I'm not the one that's gonna... Dr. Chang, you've selected a question block. Okay. Despite medical and technological advancements, fewer than one-third of Generation Z expect to live a longer lifespan than their parents. Why do you think that is? Given all the technological advancements today, you know, we should be living longer lives, but at the same time, there's so much that's happening in our world, and I can see why maybe a lot of my peers are thinking that they're gonna lead, live shorter lifespans. I think we do also need to focus on you know, our stress, things that are happening in our environment, our relationships, to really make sure that we lead long and healthy lives. I've detected an error in your response. You are not Gen Z. I don't know what Flash has against me, but I get it. You know, you can't be 21 forever. <laughs> Good luck overcoming inertia there. Newton's first law has never looked so intimidating. Haha, <laughs> go on Flash. Darian, according to the American College of Sports Medicine, 150 minutes per week of physical activity for adults can prevent and treat chronic diseases like cancer, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. What are some simple ways people can make their everyday life more active? Something as simple as adding a walk to your day. You know, the gym can be intimidating to someone that doesn't really work out. So starting with a walk and then from there a jog into a brief run all types of different cardio exercise machines that are at the gym. I mean, we all start somewhere, but the walk is like something simple that you can add to your day. Interesting, you seem to work out quite a bit. My data shows that your biceps have a 12 inch circumference. You sure? Flash is crazy, cause, oh no, these definitely not, no 12s, 14s, I don't know, these look like 20 plus to me. John, you've selected a question block. Optimism is a key indicator of a person's ability to endure hardship, and it also contributes to better health outcomes over a person's lifetime. What advice do you have for young adults feeling pessimistic about the future? In my house, we try to practice optimism every single day. How we talk to each other is huge. We have a list of affirmations we say to start the day off right and to view ourselves highly, and it's a fantastic way for them to start their day as they head off to school. Your block selection has resulted in a minigame. Proceed to the minigame arena. Allow me to explain the rules. I will ask you a question that you must answer within 30 seconds. The AI will determine three taboo words you cannot use in your response. If you use all three taboo words, you will lose the minigame. If you're able to successfully answer the question within the allotted time, you will receive a power-up advantage. Let's begin. What are the biggest factors currently impacting the mental and physical health of young adults today? The lack of knowledge and willingness to seek guidance from professionals or anyone via social media, anyone via their social environment um, that might be more knowledgeable at the topic than they are. So, you know, whether it's a professional, a friend, just, just gaining knowledge and being motivated to be better and do better and build better habits. Wonderful response. Only slipped up once without, you know, mentioning the word in my answer, so I think, I think I did all right. You have earned a power up advantage. With this advantage, you'll be able to assign a block for someone else to pull. Let's go. Thanks, Flash. Please return to the game. Darian, welcome back, buddy. Thank Don't you. Don't be using that on me. I don't know where Dr. Chang, you've selected a question block. What technological advancements are available to detect and treat chronic disease? There's so many new technological advancements. Some of them are things that we can take into control in our own hands, and some are left to the doctors to use. There's things like artificial intelligence that can help doctors do their job better by detecting things earlier. There are things that uh, we could do as patients and you know people in the general population, like wearables, that can help you know keep track of our overall health and help us maintain healthy lifestyles. Watch out, Dr. Chang. My data shows that Darian and John still have power-up advantages to use. Oh, wow. You know what, Flash? I'm gonna use my power-up. I'm not going this time. Wow. No thanks. Whoa. 
Splash, I too will be using my power up and I will be choosing John's next move. And I'm gonna give him two options. He can either pull this block or this block. I remember I promised John that I wouldn't use it on him, but I had to do it. You promised me. <laughs> you promised me you wouldn't do this. Sorry about it, man. Watch this magic trick. See this? <laughs> I just thought I could pull the tablecloth out and the glasses stay on the table. It didn't work out, but I tried my hardest. I believe we just achieved maximum instability. Congratulations. The game is now concluded. We have learned much about the rise in chronic disease in young adults. Thank you for joining us for this episode of The Futurist, brought to you by Medtronic. Goodbye. Bye.